Alex, can you bring us right up to speed in terms of the captaincy and Kieran Tierney being out for this game? Um, yeah, Kieran had to pull out of this game, and we did a medical on him and uh, we did a scan, and he he can't be risked at this stage. Yeah, in terms of the captaincy, Callum McGregor takes on the captain's role. What, what was it about him that you felt you saw the the leadership qualities? Well, I, I think over a period of time, the last few years, Callum has shown uh, tremendous ability on the field. But also, he's, he's a very good ambassador of football on, on and off the pitch. Uh, an unfussy player who, who um, nothing seems to bother him. But he's a great example to the rest of the squad on his professionalism. And I, th I believe that the players will respond to Callum being the skipper for this one. Given that there is no Andy Robertson now or Kieran Tierney, what are you thinking in terms of options at left back now? Does Graham Shinney come into the, the thinking there? He's played there in the past. Yeah, we're we're, we're pretty well covered uh, in that position. It, it is um, disappointing to lose our captain Andy Robertson and uh, also Kieran. You know, it's, it's really bad luck because they are two fantastic players. Um, but we are. Uh, lucky to have a player of Graham Shinney's quality who can slot in in different positions. I don't want to uh, give you my team at this moment in time, but um, he's certainly a candidate. Alex, we, we spoke last week about having the luxury of two fantastic left-backs in Kieran Tierney and Andy Robertson. It's, it's ironic, isn't it, that the two of them are out. And Kieran in particular, do you expect him to be fit for Sunday in San Marino? Because I know Andy is already going to be flying out to, to Italy. These are things you can't control. And we we have great faith in our medical team. And uh, we won't take a risk with any of the club's players. Um, we don't know if Kieran will be OK for the San Marino game. First things first, we're going to concentrate on, on this very important game and we, we, we believe that the players that we have at our disposal are capable of, of doing a good job. Alec, did the plastic pitch come into consideration with regards to Kieran's injury at all? No, it was a clear decision. He, he couldn't have played on whatever surface uh, was available to us. So, clearly, couldn't make this game. And what was Callum's reaction when you told him he was going to be captaining his country? He was delighted. And I think it's, it's a great honour for any player to, to be cap to play for their country. But to, to be the captain at some stage in your international career, I think, is a, a phenomenal um, honour. And uh, Callum will take it in his stride and he's, he's the type of captain who's he's not a snarling, biting captain. He's, he's one who will encourage the players and try and get the very best out of his teammates as well as doing his own job very well. Mm -hmm. How important is it to get off to a good start in these two games? Extremely important. I think that that's, that's the, 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 the two words that I would use. And Alec, the, the, the campaign starts tomorrow. Um, with Kazakhstan are a bit of an unknown quantity, new manager, a lot of new players as well. What do you expect and do you go to try and win the game with an all-out attack or do you have to be a little bit balanced? Well, when, when you say go all-out, I don't, I think people use that phrase and, and it sounds as if you, you play expansive football and and just don't ever care about defending. We know it's it's an extremely important game and and I think you'll probably hear me using those two words quite a lot. And uh, I feel that if we play to the level of the last two games, yes, we have players missing from those games. It's important that we don't lose uh, too many of, of the players who won those games because that that gave us a, you know, fantastic 
sense of strong mentality to do what we did in, in those games, coming back from a little bit of adversity. And now we have to plan it in a certain way and um, you know we, we will try and attack and we will also strive to be very good in defence. Alex, do you sense a lot more confidence and belief in the squad because of those last two games? Yes, we, we wanted we want to try and, and get and get uh, you know a little bit of longevity and in terms of and familiarity in terms of the, the squad being a familiar uh, set of players every time that we name the the squad for the international games. Uh, and that way if you keep changing the team then you lose a little bit of rhythm. And it doesn't matter how good the players are that you bring in, but if you get a, a kind of um, victories together and a set of players who know each other inside out and they, and they get that momentum together, then that, I think, is really important in any, any tournament and especially in these games coming up. Alex, when you were a player, Scotland would go and win at tough places and build up momentum in campaigns. How key is a fast start in building up momentum, given the teams that Scotland are playing against are the three lower seeds to start with? Obviously not taking anything for granted, but how key will that be? Yeah, it's very important. Um, because we're seeded above the, you know, some of the teams in the group, then everybody expects you to win automatically. But we know life is not like that. You have to earn the right to win these games. And that's what we, we have to do. We, you can't go to any country. You know, if you take examples of teams in the Champions League, the Liverpool win at home six against um, Red Star Belgrade. They go to Belgrade and get beat. It's, it's, the world is baffling sometimes in terms of football. So you have to earn that right to do it. And... Again, I stress the importance that we we want to take the full points from the smaller teams. But if we don't respect the opposition, then it it, make, it can make things so difficult for you. And everybody, Kazakhstan have the home advantage. They they have they play in the AstroTurf, and they play well in in this stadium. So. It, you can't say any game is a formality, but we must do Kazakhstan the greatest respect by playing at our very best level. Alec, if you look back to the last two games, you're obviously looking for a new goalkeeper, centre-forward, full-backs. <laughs> you've got a wealth of options in midfield as well, and you know, centre-halves have been in and out. Have you ever had to face such a big you know, dilemmas on selection in a, in a game before? You know, the ongoing momentum from the last two games. Obviously, there's a few players missing from those. Um, Tierney, to be fair, didn't play in those games. But this is where the the bigger squad comes into play. And the fact that we played games in South America and Central America last summer has, has helped us to get a, a good assessment on a lot of the other players that can be at Scotland's disposal. We don't want to keep losing, changing team every single international, but I'm afraid it happens to all international teams. So at this stage of the season, players have played a long season and some are picking up injuries and, and uh, also the fatigue as well sets in at this particular part of the domestic football season.